I want to talk about the two parts of the gospel. Remember that gospel means good news. So the two parts of the good news. And we know that Jesus for three or maybe three and a half years was talking about the kingdom of God all the time, teaching that, walking around and traveling. That was the good news, obviously. <laughs> the good news that the kingdom is coming on earth, that he will be king over the whole earth and it will be at peace, finally. But after three, three and a half years of doing that, Jesus died. Now, there's more good news. That doesn't maybe sound like there's more good news, but he died. But God didn't let him stay dead. He brought him back to life after three days. And now he sits at the right hand of the Father in the heaven and until he comes back. So that is even more good news that he died and that he was resurrected or raised to life. But also it turns out that his death was good for us because it was actually for our sins so that we can be in the kingdom when he comes back. So it's all good news. So those are the two parts of the good news. That's first the kingdom of God on earth and second that Jesus died for us and was raised back to life. So let's look at the two parts. So let's start with that. Acts 8, 12, which is a great memory verse. See if you see the two parts. But when they believed Philip preaching the good news about the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Messiah, they were being baptized, both men and women. Okay, so we've got the first part, the good news about what? The kingdom of God, that's the first part. And then the second part, it says the name of Jesus Messiah. Well, okay, does that mean that Philip was just saying the name? So he was just saying, standing on the street and saying, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. No, it doesn't. In the Bible, name means a lot more than just Bob or Jane. It means everything about you, everything you are, everything you do, everything you say, that is your name. So everything about Jesus would include what he said, and it also include that he died for us and was raised to life. So that is the name of Jesus Messiah. Okay, so there's the two parts, the kingdom of God and the name, meaning everything about Jesus. Okay, next in Acts 28, 23. So that one was Philip preaching the two parts of the gospel. This one is Paul. And it looks like he's doing exactly the same thing from morning until evening, in other words, all day long he was saying this. So here's we've got the two parts. We have the kingdom of God and trying to persuade them about Jesus. So everything about Jesus from what? From the law of Moses and from the prophets. What, what does that mean? Well, from the old, what we call the Old Testament, because that's all that Paul had, because the New Testament wasn't written yet, because <laughs> he was doing it. Persuading them, convincing them about Jesus from the Old Testament scriptures. Okay, that was the same two parts, it looks like. And then in the same chapter, the very end, uh, Acts 28, 30 and 31. Okay, this looks like the same two parts of the good news, the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Messiah, which means the anointed one, the chosen one, the one who's going to be king of the kingdom. All right, so that was Paul. And then we had Philip before that. How about 1 Peter, which is written by Peter, another one of Jesus' 12 disciples or 12 students. So 1 Peter 1, 11, this is all the ones, talks about, at the end of the verse, it talks about the sufferings of Messiah and the glories that would come after that. So there's the two parts of the gospel. Again, the sufferings, first Jesus had to suffer, and then the glories, or sometimes that word glory just means kingdom. So the kingdom that would come later after that. So first he has to suffer, but then he gets to be the king later. Okay, and then again in 1 Peter 5 verse 1. Okay, so again we have the two parts. We have the sufferings of Messiah, and then he says, I'm going to also share in the glory or the kingdom that is to be revealed or to come. In, and this was Peter, so he was actually there when Jesus was crucified, although he ran away, but he was maybe there standing at a distance. But he says he's also going to be there in the future glory or kingdom. Okay, so the two parts. And Revelation 5, 9 and 10 also has the two parts of the good news. First of all, this is Jesus. So first of all, he had to be killed 
And it says he purchased for God. So purchase means bought, right? He bought us. He actually bought us. It's like we were slaves and he bought us from the slave market and gave us our freedom. From every tribe, that means every nation, every country, every language, every people on earth. And he's made us to be a kingdom and we will reign on the earth one day. So there you go again, the two parts of the gospel. First, Jesus died and rose, and then later comes the kingdom.